Hey YouTube, Repo Man 64. Before I get started on all the pictures I've taken all week, I want to go to a Bible verse. My favorite one. It's hanging on the wall. That's actually backwards because my camera works backwards, so that's the other side. That is my favorite verse that's in the Bible. And let's see if we can get to it. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. We know that there are several last days. There is a last day for the bride as far as being on this planet. There is a last day for the sleepy church as far as being on this planet. There is a last day for the Jew for being on this planet. There is a last day for everything and everyone at the end of the millennium, including the millennial saints who have to make a choice at the end. We are incorruptible. If you, not if, when we're raptured, the bride, the sleepy church, and the Jew, when we are raptured, we are changed and we're perfect, incorruptible, cannot be corrupted, cannot be harmed, cannot be destroyed in any kind of way. We're all superheroes, for lack of a better word. Uh, most of the movies that we watch, I would, I would say most of them came out of the Bible. Uh, they twisted it in their own way, but think about it. Superman, that's what we'll be. We'll be indestructible will be incorruptible. Satan will never get his claws into us again. Now, there is a group of people in the millennium that at the end of the thousand years that they will be tempted one last time. That's because they can be. They are not taken into heaven. They are not raptured into heaven, like the bride, the sleepy church, and the Jew. And we know this from Psalms 90.10. And Psalms 90.10 clearly is talking to the Jew. And 80 years, 70 years, 80 years by reason of strength, and then we fly away. And that's a discussion I've been having. I'm in a little text group with Matt, Wackadoodle Samoan. I believe he's changed his name to Matt, I wish I could say your last name, Perriera. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Uh, chatting with him, yeah, he called me on the phone and we uh, we had a chat. He has, uh, I hope, I believe he's making a video about uh, what he discussed with me, and it's uh, it's going to be quite an eye opener. Um, remember, remember um, what I said. I I I uh, I did I, I do this all the time because uh, I'm not here for numbers. Not at all. What I'm here for is that when we leave, when the bride leaves, that these recordings are here. And when I mention other channels, I do it on purpose because if mine gets taken down, maybe theirs won't. So even the concept of changing Matt's name from Wackadoodle Samoan to his name is a good idea because now he might be hidden. They might not find him. Of course, Wackadoodle Samoan is not a very... Uh, you know, end time name, but still, you know, if we mention each other, and that's why I do that. And I want you to go over to those other channels, like them, because when you a bunch of likes happen, YouTube, an algorithm uh, is enacted in YouTube, and they start promoting it. I don't know. I mean, I don't have any commercials on my stuff. I've never heard of it anyway. I don't collect any money off of it. But when there are more views and more likes and more subscribers, what it does is it gets it out there further. And that's what we want. So we're all leaving these left behind messages for the tribulation saint. And we love them. And we're going to be in heaven waiting for them. And We've left these messages for them, you know, all these different things. But I'm doing the same thing, I, and I have done, actually, the, the same thing. I have a pantry full of food and water and notes for them. But 
subscribe and like the videos so that it gets out there so when it when it, when it happens and we go they're not left unawares they are left with our information and they can get through this period of time which is a bad period of time anyway let me get back to this so you have matt here uh please go subscribe to his channel uh he's got some matt called me on the phone and i'll tell you what he he has Something popped up that, uh, that that he's about to make a video about. I'm not going to give it away, but you're going to want to go see it. There's uh, the Cataclysm, Tony Early. He's also going to uh, discuss, I believe he's going into Psalms 9010 and discuss that as well. So he, he, he does very good videos. I like Tony uh, because he is very in tune with the... Uh, nature around him and uh he hears and sees things that i've never heard or seen so he's heard trumpets and and all kinds of things so please go subscribe to him and like his uh latest videos so that the algorithm can increase and then here's will from worship and watch he's also in the in the uh texting a little group that we have that we're discussing things and he's cool if you want to feel the holy spirit the hair on your arm stand up uh, watch a couple of his videos. Uh, he is he's really awesome with his videos. All right, let me go back to the beginning here. And where is that at? Where are we at today? Whoa. Okay, does not like that. I broke my screen, so I got an aftermarket screen, and it is acting silly. Yes, it's going to keep acting silly. All right, so where are we at today? Today is Sivan 15. Still Savant 15 here in the United States and will be for another three hours for the East Coast. And Savant 15 is the 75th day of the year. You see over here, Nissan has 30 days, IR has 30 days, and Sivan has 31, but we're going to the 15th day. So we're in the 75th day of the year right now, and we uh, we assign that to Abraham 75 years at Canaan, and of course, uh, Abraham was born in 1948. So that's today. I would have suspected that at some point today, something major would happen. It might have. I've been out running all day. I haven't heard anything, an earthquake or a lightning strike somewhere that knocks something uh, that uh, the world loves down to the down to rubble. But uh, uh, this is the day I would be looking at. Now we're going to go forward. There's a little bit of a quiet space here that happens. There's a little bit of silence that happens between the 75th day and um, what I think would be Pentecost, which is 50 days after Shavuot, which would be Tammuz 26, the 117th day of the year, which would wind up, since we are looking at calendar number five, we're stuck on calendar number five because so many events back here have hit on calendar number five, really pointing us to that calendar. So here we are coming up on uh, Tisha B'Av. That would be the 130th day of the year. It's real simple, 130. You go over here, you count Nisan, Ayar, Sivan, and Tammuz, and you get 121 days, and then the ninth day of Av would be so simple, being the 130th day of the year, which would be September the 9th. So we have a little bit of a quiet space in here, but I don't think it's going to be quiet. I think it's going to get very no. Whoa! <laughs> That's uh, Will over at Worship and Watch. Please go like his uh, his uh, YouTube and. Uh, uh, and subscribe he this video right here uh he has he has a really unique insight on what's going on with these seven years and we've been discussing it and uh we're on the same uh thought process at this point as to what's going on and he articulates it uh, very well and i'd go watch this latest video right here that he has all right i Psalms 9010, Psalms 9010, Jacob's uh, time of trouble. But we have all these examples in the Bible that say 70 years, 80 years by reason of strength, and then we fly away. We know that that 80 years is speaking to the Jew at the end of the tribulation, and they fly away. 
But we have so many examples in here of the fourth, the fourth, the fourth. It says in the third year, uh, why cumber the ground? And he says, let it alone this year also. So we are in the 74th year right now of Israel becoming a nation. This is the year. So many people have pointed out that we are, this is the 50th year of the, uh, how do you call, uh, you got the, I can't remember the names, the seven, the, you got the seven years and then you got the 50 years of, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, it's going to escape my mind right now. And, whoa, everybody's going to get in the comment section and tell me what I forgot to say. It is uh, Jubilee. Got it. The Jubilee. It uh, happens once every 50 years, and then uh, you have the seven years, and they all culminate right here in 2022. So we're in it right now. And 2022, I believe, is the year. And uh, with all the stuff that we see going on, it's it's not going to be much longer. But anyway, we have another example of the fourth year, 74 years after Israel has been a nation. And here we have an example of the fourth year. We have, again, an example of the fourth. God is pointing to the fourth. He waited to raise up Lazarus until four days. He laid in the grave four days. So... 74 again. Donald Trump recognizes Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Isn't that awesome? So fantastic. He did that December 6th. December 6th? What is December the 6th? What is it? It's nothing from what I can tell on any timeline that I have. But look what happens. The embassy is officially moving to Jerusalem on May 14th of 2018. May 14th. Wow. Isn't that amazing how they chose that date to move there? There are no accidents. There are none. And and um, everybody wants this event to take place because Satan wants to take over and prove how much better he can run things on his own. And that's about to be given to him. So we have to learn to number our days. The Bible tells us to learn to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. So. You have all of these watchmen everywhere trying to figure this out. And so far, we're 100% wrong. But I'm okay with that because I don't think anybody's wrong. I think that they're correct. We're just applying it to the wrong timeline. We're not fully understanding. And I think as we go forward, God is revealing to us little pieces, little pieces. I got little pieces today from... Matt over at Wackadoodle Samoan, from Will over at Worship and Watch, and from Tony at the Cataclysm, Tony Early. So, and also from Kevin Spinebreaker. He's the one that put all this together, by the way. And so we're each talking in there, and we're like, wait a second. And we're brainstorming, and it's really cool. And then uh, the guy, uh, uh, Stan, over at the 1111 sign, he's, he's also come on, he's come on to something. His last video is really cool. You should go watch it. Um, he's stating, and I love it, that the seven churches that were spoken to were not spoken to back in those days. The Bible tells us in Revelation that blessed is he who reads this book, and there is a blessing given just for reading the book. So I would, if you want that blessing, I would stay in Revelation. And Stan did, and he discovered that those churches are today's churches. They are not uh, churches from back when. They're actually today. So we learned to number our days, and that's what we're doing. We're trying to, we're numbering our day. Everybody is. Everybody's doing it. Dr. Barry, um, Aaron over at God a Minute. There's so many, I have so many, uh, Ikru Symphony. There's so many people I could stand here. I have 150 that I subscribe to, and I watch as much as I can of everybody's videos, and some of them are just mind-blowing what they come up with. Here we are. Say not ye that there are yet four months, and then cometh the harvest. There's another four. There's Stan again. This, this, uh, he's talking again about the, uh, the, can we influence the rapture by all of us trying to figure this out, and, and Stan says yes. So... Let's see. Here's the seven churches. Now, let me do this real quick. Uh, 
Okay, this is every event that we can think of that's about to take place. The bride, which is the church, is caught away to the third heaven. They're given crowns and brilliant white robes. They escape all these things. They can be counted. They are 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands upon thousands. Uh, they are already known. They are the bride. They are going to escape. Then we have the 144,000. These 144,000 will be assigned to... So, so God... God prefers us to be hot or cold. He does not like us to be lukewarm. The Jews are very, and the church, honestly, the church is also very, or the saints, they are very lukewarm in that they can't, say, so, so the Jews are going to accept the Antichrist as their Christ by accident. They're going to realize it halfway through the tribulation. Once they realize it, that he is not the Christ, they will embrace Jesus Christ as the true Messiah. But they have faith. They do have faith. They are not walking around in complete denial that God doesn't even exist, that this, that we're just in, here by happenstance. We crawl out of some primordial ooze. No, they know that they were created by an almighty loving God. They just, there's only one way into heaven, and that's through Jesus Christ. And they haven't quite come to that yet. So you could almost assign each of those seven churches to one of these groups. And remember, in each group here, the bride, the 144,000, the saints of the tribulation, and the people that go into the millennial reign. Humans still can be tempted at the end. They have to eat of the tree of life to live. And it'll be a, an insult that they don't live at least 100 years in good health. Um, so that's four groups right there. We have three more. There is, according to Stan at the 11-11 sign, there is a um, earthquake that happens before each raising. And you have the bride, you have the saints of the tribulation, and you have the Jew at the end. 80 years and we fly away. So that's seven groups right there, which is pretty cool. So you come over here. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee. The church of Ephesus, God has something against them. The church of Smyrna, and I will give thee a crown of life. Who's that? That sounds a lot like the church. Only the bride gets the crowns. The church of Pergamum, I have a few things against thee. The church of Thyatira, notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee. The church in Sardis, be watchful and strengthen the things which remain. What remains? That sounds like a tribulation saint to me. They remain. That are ready to die. Hmm. Tribulation saints have to uh, lose their head for their faith. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard. They've heard. They've received. They're lukewarm. They haven't grasped the concept. And repent. Turn to, turn to Jesus. If, therefore, thou shalt not watch, I will come upon thee as a thief. And thou shalt not know what hour I'll become. This, this sounds just like a tribulation saint. Let's see the church of Philadelphia, uh, Philadelphia. For thou hast a little strength, and but and so I didn't say but, but and has kept my word and has not denied my name. Let's see here. Laodicea, I know they works. Thou art neither hot nor cold. I would that thou wert hot or cold. And then we get back into this. You could almost assign each one of these churches to one of this group of people here. I don't believe that any one of those seven churches are destined for the lake of fire. I believe that each one of those is a different event. I think that's uh, I show four up there, but there's this earthquake, the dead in Christ rise first, before each of the three events, the bride, the saints, and the millennium. And uh, like I said, the stand over at the 11-11 sign articulates that really well in a video. 
Uh, I was going to talk about that. This is basically stating that you don't use the moon to start up each month because the moon goes around our planet 354 days in a year. You wind up with 10 days off. You never can get to the correct um, feast day using the moon. It appears as though what I can see is that God is, in fact, using timeline number five where he begins the year at the moon. When the sun is in Aries, I did, again, I've said this before, I didn't like that timeline, I didn't want to use that timeline, but too many things are happening on that timeline to ignore. So um, here we have all these things pointing to 2022, that this is going to happen. Uh, I like this passage here, it goes through the book of Revelations, Revelation backwards. It says the Antichrist cannot be revealed until the seal on the scroll is broken open by the Lamb. The first seal reveals the Antichrist. So we're there to witness that. The scroll cannot be opened until the Lamb, Jesus, who is the only one worthy to open it, comes forth. That's five, six. And it's going backwards. Like I said, Jesus does not open the scroll to break the seal until after God has received crowns from the saints. We're going to throw our crowns at the feet of God uh, because we realize the only reason we're there, the only reason we're there is because Jesus took us. Nothing that we have done deserves to be there. He has decided to take us, and we're going to be so grateful we don't deserve these crowns. We'll be, we'll be casting those crowns at his feet and worshiping him because he's the one that did it all. We, the believers, cast our crowns at the feet of God, the Father, in chapter 410. We cannot receive our crowns until we have been raptured and taken to heaven, chapter 4-1. So I, I like that, how they went backwards with that to explain that. Um, I was going to talk about this, but it, that's, that's too much. Here's Matt. Okay, so anyway... I want to get on here and encourage you. It's getting exciting. There's so many things going on right now. You can't ignore 600. I saw a YouTube video 666 days exactly from the signing of the um, what was that piece of cord called? Um, see how bad of a memory I have? That's just <laughs> Abraham Accords. It takes a minute for it to like come forward. So the Abraham Accords, 666 days until um, Biden uh, puts together his own concept. Now they can fly. Saudi Arabia is flying into Israel and they're flying back. They're splitting up Israel. And everybody's so happy about it. Peace and safety is being spoken of everywhere. But. We won't be here to see that confirmation of that covenant. We will be in heaven. What does that mean? They're writing this thing up right now. They're putting it together right now. And before it's signed, and the person that brings it forward to have it signed, I don't know if it's going to be Biden. If you chose that guy to be your antichrist, oh my goodness, what were you? Anyway. Satan's, uh, he is not doing too well. We might not be able to guess the date of the rapture, but Satan is messing up right and left. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. So anyway, um, with all of what's going on, lightning strikes everywhere, and they're landing on these days that land on the fifth timeline. They're just perfectly landing on those days, and lightning's just coming, and then they're like, well, it was a bomb except there's no black marks on the rest of it. They tore that thing down within a day. It's not a crime scene. When God destroys something, it's an act of God. So they tore that thing down in one day. If it were a crime scene and a bomb had been blown up, we'd have seen all the little pieces on TV and we've been searching for somebody. We got a silver car pulling away a week earlier, maybe. Who knows when that silver car pulled away? You know what I'm saying? So now this is God. This is God, 100% God. Is, is, is. We, add, we said that God is going to tell us just before it happens. I think this is the way he's going to do it. It's, I thought perhaps he'd send an angel and say, hey, get ready. It's happening in two days. But the more I think about it, the more I see that, and, and he's done it like that before. He came to Mary and said, 
you're going to have a baby, came to, to uh, her future husband, Joseph, and said, hey, she's going to have a baby. I know what you're thinking, but just, just let her have the baby, and then you give her those 40 days, and then she's your wife, and she had a bunch of other children with him. But uh, I'm excited because Honestly, I, 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 honestly, Matt called me up about that uh, the signing of this thing, and uh, he has a way of wording things that I don't. And when he worded it out the way he did about, hey, you know we're leaving, we have to leave. We're not going to be here to see the Antichrist bring this signed document forward. The Bible clearly says we're out of here before that, so we will not see the confirmation of the covenant with many. We're seeing peace and safety, but we're not going to see that. We're not going to know who the Antichrist is from this world. We're going to see it from heaven, who it actually is. Satan, Satan, come here. Just between me and you. Biden, really? Repo Man 64, go to a quiet place by yourself. Nobody needs to know, and you don't need to tell anybody, and accept the Lord into your heart. We are out of time. You'll find that in, uh, is that John 6, 5 and 6, where it says go to a prayer cl uh, closet. If you do it out in public, you get your reward. Do it in private, by yourself. You and your creator, he created you. He loves you. Every time you breathe, you say his name. <gasps> he loves you. He loves you so much, and all he wants, this is, this is uh, how do you say, this is what you should want. I can't imagine not wanting anything more than this moment to come. I don't want to go to Disney World. I want a new house. I don't want a Ferrari or a Corvette. I want to go to heaven. Wow. Be indestructible. It's incredible. I could talk all day about that stuff. I do that on the line when I'm working with uh, employees. I'm like, all right, what's your heaven look like? And then we start discussing, well, mine's going to have the house on the lake, and I'm going to have this. And I'm, gonna, and I'm like, it, and it's a beautiful thing to, uh, if you're going to, somebody said something. Who said, I don't even remember who said it, but they said, where your mind wanders when you're not thinking about something in particular, where your mind wanders about dreaming about things, um, that's where your heart is. And so when my mind wanders, my mind wanders to what the place is going to look like that's been built in heaven and what all of this is going to be like. I don't think God created us to eat, to love, to have all these emotions, just to pull us in heaven, to sit on a cloud and play a harp. I don't believe that for a second. I have a feeling that everything's going to be very material, that we're going to be in time. I know that heaven's out of time, but I think time will exist here on earth. For the, I have to for the thousand years. You wouldn't be able to count the thousand years. You know, I think we're all going to have jobs. We're going to rule with an iron rod. I think we're going to have jobs here we're gonna they, now you know the holy city can't come down to this planet not this planet it's too corrupt too much blood they, this planet has to be cast away and then a brand new planet will be created and that's when the holy city comes to set down on the brand new planet this planet's going to be gone in a thousand years probably for the best i mean think of all the things that we dig up and find uh that wouldn't go away unless god just made it go away but i don't think he's the bible clearly says a new heaven and a new earth and then the holy city will set down in there so uh and the reason is is that uh, the millennial saints while they're living under the rule of jesus they're still sinners they can still be tempted at the end and a sinner cannot be in the presence of god because they will melt um and that's taught in the bible very clearly so like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit it. Go to these other channels that I've uh, talked about and do theirs as well. Leave a legacy behind for those people for those seven years. The saints of the tribulation are super important. They are a group of people that no man can count. It's a huge group. They will show up with their robes that they washed white in the blood of Christ, so they followed Christ. They came to believe and follow Christ during those seven years. They will be the biggest group of watchers this planet has ever seen. 
they'll have a firm foundation on their count from when we leave to when they have to count. It's going to be a little confusing for them, I think. Uh, Will over at Worsham Watch is going to have a video on an overlap that I believe he discovered. He was talking to me a little bit about it. I didn't get into it too much, but uh, he thinks there's an overlap. And so, uh, and he's going to study that and, and present it to you so you can see that. And that's very important. So anyway, I'm all smiles because Matt called me and I got all giddy when he's like, you know, we have to go before they sign this. And they're literally writing it right now. They're literally writing it up to split up Jerusalem, a two-state uh, a two-state uh, deal with the, the Palestinians. So I was like, he just brings it home to you. So anyway, RepoMan64, we'll chat with you all later.